Hi, my name's Hayley Quinn and welcome to my Q&A on all things love related. Okay, so I've got some questions this week and what I'd say about these questions is they're kind of big questions. Um, so what I'll be trying to do is I'll be answering them in a way which looks to the small detail and the small change you can make. They are about rejection, how to become rejection proof and also if you've not really started yet with the dating or love thing, how to get going. Question. I'm 22, I've never kissed any girls, I want a relationship, but I don't know where to start. Okay, so you're right at the starting point. The good thing is you're 22. Like, I'm way older than you now. I'm like a grandma, <laughs> so I should know to be able to give you some advice. Um, what I would do is I wouldn't be focusing on the long goal, like you want a relationship, because in fact, I think right now, what you probably need to do is find out what women you like, what girls you get on with, start flirting, start meeting new people, get some female friends, and then the relationship will come, you know, further down the line when you've explored a bit more in this area. So you've never kissed a girl? Okay. I would say that probably means then there's, there's two factors we need to work on here. Meeting more girls in the first place. So that's just really simple stuff, like making sure you're going to the right places, you're meeting new people. So that could be that you, I don't know whether you're at uh, college or whether you've got a job or what's going on with you. I would take up a female friendly, like hobby or interest, like somewhere you're going to meet more girls. Um, try to adapt your social life, say yes to more invitations to go out. Maybe look at some of the other videos I've got on here and start to learn how to talk to women when you see a girl that you like, whether that's in a coffee shop or at a party or at a bar. Um, you need to kind of open the channel to meeting many, many, many more women. And then what you want to do is you want to actually start looking for the ones that you really like. So you need to start developing an awareness of what kind of girls you like. And I really don't mean just physical, um, I mean really mental and, and what she's like as a person as well. And you only get that through doing a volume of interactions. Then what will happen is if you get on with the girl really well and she's actually, you know that she's got the qualities that you like, then you know that it's almost like you want to progress the interaction forward to the stage where you're kissing and all that kind of stuff. But until you get to that phase, you, d you, you don't know who are the right women for you to be pursuing anyway. So instead of wanting something like a relationship or to kiss someone, start today with getting some really good standards. Instead, think your goal really is to think, you know, where can I go to meet more women? How can I learn to approach more women when I see somebody that I like? How can I figure out what kind of girls I like? Because when you want to kiss someone or have a relationship with someone, it shouldn't just be any old girl. Um, it should be the one that you really want and that you're really into. And you only know that through getting a bit more experience. And the way you get more experience is you start approaching and you start turning up to places where you're going to meet more women. Start doing that and you'll probably find that through the course of your journey with women, stuff is going to shift around a lot. Uh, I would also recommend to you to check out my website, hayleyquinn.com. On the guys section, there's a bunch of courses on there that you can watch, which are all about how to say hello or how to build that connection. So that one will be perfect for you. Question. What can I do so that no girls will reject me? Okay, I understand that rejection, um, whether you're a guy or a girl that's getting that, is a pretty nasty feeling. It feels bad. However, when you enter into something like dating or love with the intention of like, I just never want to be rejected, um, it doesn't really work that way. And you're kind of approaching it from the wrong angle, so you're not going to get the results that you want. Here's what I would have to say. Um, First of all, your job isn't to please everybody or to get on with every girl or seduce every woman that you meet. Uh, you shouldn't want to. Uh, instead, change your goal to make it about meeting the women that you really connect with um, and pursuing the women that you're really into and that they're into you as well. And you know what? In doing that, a good thing to do is actually is to become a bit more Marmite, become a bit more opinionated be a bit stronger in terms of what you're looking for and what actually, you know what, even if she's really fit, if she isn't cool or you don't like her, then you wouldn't want to date her anyway. Get into the mindset where you're actually selecting a bit more. So you should see it this way, that when you begin an interaction, you're creating an you've seen someone you're physically attracted to, so you're creating an opportunity for yourself to explore that attraction. Then, as you're communicating with her, what are you getting back from her? Does she, are you guys getting on? Do you think she's cool? If there's just one of those things where there's just nothing between you, that's fine. We're not supposed to like be massively attracted to everybody. Or alternatively, is she doing something that you find really off-putting? If that's or is she just you know too shy to want to contribute or is a bit rude? In all those cases, 
I wouldn't see it as her rejecting you. I'd just be like, okay, I, well done me. I created the opportunity for myself, but really this person isn't giving me what, what I need to want to continue on this interaction. So actually then you would let it go and you would leave it. Uh, when you get into that mindset then and you start thinking more like you're selecting people, it becomes less like, how do I walk up to a girl and get it so perfect that she never rejects me? Instead you see it as, okay, I'm attracted to a girl, I'm gonna walk up to her, I'm gonna approach her, and then I'm gonna see and explore this connection and see what we're supposed to be. And you know what, it's a bit like being at school. Um, there's gonna be some people you just, I don't know why this happens, but you just can't stand them. <laughs> Uh, there's some people in our lives that which are just repellent to us and that's okay or they are really not in the right headspace to give you anything that you want and the best thing you can do there is gracefully let them go and then carry on there's gonna be a bunch of people where it's kind of in the middle where you would sort of like if it's at school you would probably like sit next to them at lunch but they wouldn't be your best mate um, if this is the case maybe you're supposed to be friends maybe you're supposed to have a casual love affair but maybe this isn't supposed to be something amazing between you then occasionally you come across someone if you're really open about who you are and you're confident about speaking about yourself if you're nice and opinionated and you don't conceal yourself you start sending out this strong signal and you meet more people that are of your kind and then occasionally you meet someone and it's like kapow boom and then in fact if you've taken the opportunity to say hello to them, if you've communicated who you are really well, if you've actually listened to them and responded to them as a person rather than trying to play a game where you always win, if you do all those things and there's a connection or there's attraction there anyway, it's going to naturally become something else. And in doing this, you can kind of exit the cycle of like rejection, lose, uh, get success, win. And in exiting that mindset, you can actually find that your success with women and how happy you are in your interactions is going to go up astronomically. Um, anyway, guys, I've, as always, I've enjoyed answering your questions. Um, if you want to send me some more, you can email hello at hayleyquinn.com. Um, you can Twitter me at tweet, Twitter me, tweet me at Hayley Quinn, or you can comment on my Instagram, which is at Hayley Quinn X. Just, and all those ways, I'm going to get back to you and be able to answer your questions. Um, I'd also definitely advise, if you think my advice is all right, <laughs> then you can check out my podcast there on iTunes. There's one called Attraction HQ and one called Love HQ. And I would like to get your, your support and feedback on those as well. Um, so thanks again for listening, guys. I'll be back again next week with another Q&A video.